Hi, uh, I'm Kani Kastrupi. Uh, I'm playing the character Prabha in the film All We Imagine As Light, which will be released in Korea soon. Thank you. Okay, so All We Imagine As Light was the first Indian film to screen in Cannes competition after 30 years. Yes. Uh, are you proud of this success? Happy? <laughs> Actually, at that time, um, we were very just happy for um, the film uh, this done and we are all going. Mm. It it hit us slowly, at least for actors, me and my co-actor Divya. The, the idea that it is going to Khan and it's after 30 years, it hit very slowly. Okay. For us, oh, the, because we shot last year in November, so it was too short of a time and we were like, oh, finally we get to watch this, what we were making. So it was more that and then it was, when we reached there, it's like, oh, it's this, this big festival went <laughs> after it. It was very slow in terms of understanding what is exactly happening. I'm very happy for the success in terms of for Payal and for the team and for all independent filmmakers and female filmmakers in India. Because when such success happens, I, I think it brings more light into uh, yet, yet to produce films, kind of, you know, work in progress films. I, I just hope that this kind of success for other films helps putting more light into other films making. So that way I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. And how was the reaction of the audience to the film in Cannes? Oh, it was really amazing. Um, um, I think after the film screened, the, the next few days when we walk in the streets at Cannes and different places, random people will come to us and say, we watched your film, they really liked it. So I think that reaction was really something meaningful to me. Uh, which happened even in St. Sebastian Festival that I went, like when, when people come to you in the next days when you are walking in the street, in the town, in the market or somewhere and some people who have watched, sometimes they are not even filmmakers or anybody, it's just some person who went to watch the film and so it's really nice to hear that. So I think particularly the screening at Khan went really well. Mm -hmm. That was the reaction I felt, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And sorry doing a lifestyle question, but <laughs> what about that dancing on the red carpet? You know? <laughs> it was. Okay, I really enjoyed watching it because Cannes is a bit uptight, you know, but you really said, okay, let's do it, you know. I don't know, it was very spontaneous. One reason is, um, there is a song in our film where uh, Divya's character Anu and <coughs> Chayaji's character Parvati mm. dances. Mm. So, Pyle chose that song for our walk. Mm. So, naturally, because we danced on the set while this was happening, uh, I think when, when we were hearing Indian music and um, that was happening. I think because we chose that song, they chose a lot of other Indian songs while we were walking. That just naturally, we were just happy and it just spontaneously happened. We didn't think about it much. It just happened. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> so I don't know. It, it happened. Nobody knew it was going to happen. <laughs> okay. And what, what did people back in India thought about this thing? Was it like some, viral or something like that? I think so. It was, I think, in some online videos that was it. So it has millions of views because of that. I think uh, people who knows us and who likes us or people who were similar like us, who were spontaneous, love it. And I'm sure some people may not have liked it also because it should be very proper. Uh, uh, I'm sure both opinions were there. Mm -hmm, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and how would you describe Prabha, your character in the film? How will I describe? After acting, I have to describe now. <laughs> <laughs> Such bad acting I did. Now I have to describe after all that acting. <laughs> okay, okay. So, no, no, I'm, I will tell you. I uh, was joking. Uh, okay. <laughs> So Prabha is one character probably, it's not my, she's not my favourite person, like I, I'm more of a very extremely progressive person, I don't understand why women are like this, can't they just, you know, move on. I probably personally relate to Parvati more, she's more of a fierce person and you know, yeah. I'll see see the future, you know, like, uh, so for me, it, 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 it's some, you sometimes as an actor gets character that you are not very, wow, I love this person. But that is what is acting about. You're getting to play different people in one lifetime. So, um, but more than that, uh, to how to interpret Prabha? I think probably as an actor, I had different ideas. It it with it's with Payal, the rehearsals and everything. Payal probably she has a clear uh, aesthetic sense of how to interpret and what kind of modulations, what kind of uh, the, the 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 line, how much you push of a certain scene and how much you, um, what kind of expressions you will do and all that Pyle has an idea. So I think in rehearsals, Pyle kind of uh, guided us towards 
the meter of where you should draw the line of that and uh, I think my interpretation of Prabha or my interpretation would have been different. It, it's more of how Payal would want it and we rehearsed it and found that. So that's how I see it, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is like kind of a motherly figure. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you're okay with that or maybe you're too yeah. young to play motherly figures? I am very old. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, I played actually in the other film, Girls Will Be Girls, which is older. I am actually a mother of ah, really? 17 year old. Ah. So this is still a younger person, ah. <laughs> Prabha. Okay, okay. Good, good. And how was your cooperation with Divya Prabha in the movie? She is a friend from some time. Uh, so it was just a pleasure to work with her that way. And I have, we have done a theatre play together. We have done a soap opera together uh -huh. so it was uh, nice to see her evolution as an actor in her craft and everything so for me it was really nice and originally I was supposed to play Anu because Payal came to me seven eight years ago with the story and she was writing thinking me to play Anu back then and it took these many years and I'm like I'm not playing the <laughs> character so then I auditioned for this other character and Divya on the other hand Payal went to, play, uh, to her play asking for Prabha Wow. Then she auditioned Prabha, then she was like, no, maybe you audition for Anu also. So like that it happened, yeah. Uh -huh. So you do what you want, not what the director wants. <laughs> what I want, to, what, that's what she wanted ah, finally. She you know? wanted, ah. Because after eight years, now I'm 39. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. That time I was 30 years old. So yes, I could play Anu. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. And yeah. uh, how was your cooperation with the director, Payal Kapadi? I think for all of us, it was really amazing. Um, she's extremely uh, receptive and she has, she's extremely open to the, our ideas or our challenges or our doubts and she will listen to us and she will give us some kind of clarity and we mostly arrive at together sometimes when we both are in or uh, both parties are in kind of um, ambiguous about something and then we take our time and sometimes she rewrites like if she like in the rehearsal time of course not in the shooting time. Uh, she has taken, she's like, okay, this scene is definitely not working. Maybe then sometimes we were like, can we do it in two different interpretations? So we, sometimes we do like that in rehearsal. So she, it was an extremely collaborative process, but at the same time, she has a clear idea what exactly she wanted. So uh, it, she was only navigating us through that. And for me, it was a great pleasure to work with her because very rarely in film, I get, we get a chance to explore, learn, unlearn a character and really understand we, in India, most of the time, you go on the set. There is no rehearsal. Uh -huh. So with Pyre, it was one of the most ideal situation uh, to discover it together. So I love to work with her. Uh -huh. But yeah. did she allow improvisation during the shooting or is she strict? Let's say? Not so much of improvisation that it will take out everything because her script is very solid. What I read, it's, it's, a, it's like a novel. It's, it's poetic and it's a novel. It's a complete script. You don't need to really improvise much in it. But in rehearsal, sometimes we have rehearsed things, but improvisation will be very minute and mild. And, and because we have rehearsed almost all the scenes, we knew what's going to happen. And then in, on this, on, on while shooting, it's always mild things that we have, if we have improvised very mildly, because we kind of rehearsed all the probabilities we could propose even before. But I won't say she's strict in a way, mechanically strict. But it's more of an author's uh, idea of how it should be and she's just navigating us to go because she is viewing what we are doing. So she can have more of an idea of this is going out of the aesthetics of the film now. Mm -hmm. It's like that. So it was within the structure she allowed improvisation, something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, okay. is Bombay as chaotic as it shows in the film? Yeah, maybe more. <laughs> maybe more. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. So how would you say that how the city is affected the film, let's say? actual shooting yeah it was a quite hard process i think especially for ben who did the sound he's from france and oh. it for the sound designer you know you have to close everything and to get it get the ambience correct and everything was pretty difficult i would say but then we are all from bombay we have been there so we know how it works there as well so for us it was hard but we managed because most production people and the crew knew how to work there. You know, they are all professionals who know how to ha handle a city like Bombay while shooting. So, for actors, it was okay. We, they gave us the best they could, you know. But for somebody who's from France, who's the sound designer, Ben, for him, it's a lot of new things. But he really, I think he pulled off very well within the circumstances he was put in. But it was probably hard for him, harder than us, mm -hmm. you know. So, 
and the girls will be girls was shot in the Himalayas, right? In Daradun, yes. Yeah. So, where do you prefer to, to shoot? The Mumbai or the... <laughs> Actually, I loved Ratnagiri more, nor even the Himalayas or Bombay piles. But the second schedule, the beach side that we go, <laughs> this is my most favorite location. Uh, it was just so beautiful and really nice. Mm -hmm. More than Daradun, probably I, I preferred this mm -hmm. Ratnagiri. I'm more of a beach person, so maybe I like <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. And in general, right now, how do you pick the roles that you play? Because particularly your last choices seem to be rather successful, so I'm just No such thing. I don't have... A, uh, actually, I don't particularly choose nothing. Whatever comes to me, I mostly do end up doing it. Uh, very rarely I say no to a project. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably last project successful as in, in terms of... Uh, I, I, so far, my, in my experience, working with female directors has been a pleasure. Uh -huh. So... When there's a female director, I'm mostly going to say, actually, for example, Shuchi's film, when I auditioned, she liked me and she would wanted me to be playing it. But when I read the script, I was not very sure. But when the moment I talked to her, talked to Shuchi, I immediately felt I want to work with this director. She was again another open, extremely open-minded director with a lot of possibilities. And I thought as an actor, I get to learn a lot if I work, if I were to work with her. So. Maybe my choice, like I think probably I have a bias towards like female directors. Mm -hmm. I have a, I would love to. <laughs> this feeling is there uh, because I've I've been always having great experiences with them. But generally, I don't uh, choose so much. It's whatever comes to me, and uh, if I have free time and if I can, I end up doing. Sometimes I don't have the free time, so I end up not able to do projects that I like. Also, sometimes you have to let go of projects that you like. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you have been in the industry for two decades and more yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. So what, what would you say are the most significant changes you have seen in cinema and you as an actor? In, as a viewer? As an actor. As an actor? In, uh, are, see, you, can, are you better now than when you were... Me as an yeah, actor? Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, yeah I think I'm better. <laughs> 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 I, I think I'm an actually, honestly speaking, I'm an average actor. Is how I see. If I get to work with a good director, I can probably bring my best of potential. Actually, there are many amazing actors in Kerala who are way more talented and hardworking than I am. Um, so, but within my capacity from back then, and I'm better. Definitely, I'm not going backwards. I think. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. And how would you describe the movie industry in, in the, let's say Kerala? Let's say. I think Kerala films have been always amazing. Mm -hmm. I used to be a fan of Malayalam films, uh, even in the 80s and 90s. It's n None of them are subtitled, so not everyone can watch it. But even the commercial films, especially the commercial films of Malayalam in the 80s and 90s had really amazing screenplay and beautifully written dialogues and really nice stories. And actors were really amazing. So we grew up watching these films. So we have a like, you know, high standards of expectation of cinema, I think. I think in between 2000 to 2010, Malayalam cinema did go through a bad phase where the, the content was in that great. But again, it re-emerged after 2010. Uh, Malayalam cinema is again making really good films and really good actors, good screenplays. And it's doing well now because there are OTT platforms and most of them are subtitled. So a lot of Indian, other Indian states are also watching this and we have really great actors. Uh, maybe even the world is finally recognizing what's happening in this particular small region called Kerala. So I'm very proud of it, and uh, I think it's uh, it's going it's going through a really good phase. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the last question, I guess, future projects. What are you working on next? Right now, I just finished one uh, small independent Malayalam film and one Hindi film, and then one Malayalam web series. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's normal for <laughs> because it's mostly for money. Also, we work. It's not like everything is amazing and great, but. In this also, like I think um, I had good time, but it's not. None of these projects are like I'm. Uh, I would say that wow, unique, so unique that I wanted to. But it was if they are decent enough that I could be part of, uh, and I'm I'm glad and grateful for that. Uh, right now, there are two scripts that I like. I don't know when it's going to happen. It it will be in in, in the coming year, but exact dates are not locked for other logistical problems and everything. But there are two projects that I'm excited, probably, don't know if when it happens, happens. Right now I'm traveling for this film and promotion, so till December I'm on a break. I just finished that Malayalam web series shoot, so these two, three months I'm on a break, yeah. Do you ever feel tired? Yeah, I feel tired. <laughs> <laughs> traveling especially I feel tired. I'm not a 
lover of travel yeah. so much mm -hmm. uh, so that is there but this was one of a time i don't think i will do is always or it's uh, it's about that and pile's film is special for me in in terms of we all developed a certain friendship so um, i feel happy to travel for that film and so yeah that's it okay well i guess that's it yeah okay. can we take oh, a picture together oh that was really quick huh? you were very fast you you were very fast <laughs> you, you, you,